You might win it It's like 25 the lives that you bust out of prison Something's in the air Something's in the air Oh, wow So today is my first video in my holiday series thing that I'm going to try and do. Let me know any video ideas that you guys would like to see in the comments down below and I will be sure to record those. These DIYs are fairly easy and they're also very cheap. I got most of my stuff from Michaels and then I also picked up a few things from Target. And I also found some ribbon and stuff around the house that I have. So most of these things you'll probably already have. So that makes it a lot easier when it's time to make the DIYs. But everything is pretty cheap and it had to be because I don't have a lot of money so the first thing that we're going to be making is a stocking canvas and what you're gonna need for this project is just a canvas some cotton balls and then a computer so that you can print out what we will be using to trace the stocking so just go ahead and open that up and just lay one canvas out you only need one I got this from Michaels it was in a set of two and then you can go ahead and look up a photo of a stocking. You can pick whichever one that you like. I did a PNG one, which basically means that it has a nice transparent background. So all I have to do is cut it out and then I can trace it very, very easily. So once you've done that, then you can go ahead and print it. So now that you've done that, you can go ahead and just cut out the stocking and then lay it right down on top of the canvas. And I advise that you trace this with pencil because I used pen and the paint didn't cover it up completely. So pencil is probably easier. And also if you make a mistake, you can always erase it. But now I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in those extra lines and then you can fill out the extra line below it for the fluffy part of the stocking and I lost the clip of me putting the glue on here but all I did was take some liquid glue and put it right on top and now I'm just placing the cotton balls on top of that this is like the fuzzy part of the stocking that everyone always loves and now for paint I'm just using a red your stocking can be whatever color you want uh, this is just some paint I had lying around the house and some paint brushes that my mom got me in a kit a while ago. And you're just going to go ahead and paint the stocking and that's literally it. <laughs> Now we are going to make what I like to call the present pillow and all you're going to need is a pillow and some ribbon and then you can also have some tape because we're going to use that in a second and you shall see why. I just got my pillow from Michaels and then this ribbon my mom had lying around the house so she said that I could use it. So what we're going to do is first go ahead and take your pillow out and you're going to want to fold the tag so it's underneath if you have a tag on the pillow so you don't see it. And then you're going to take your ribbon out and you're going to measure it out for the exact length that you want for the pillow. Try and do a little more so if you have too much you can cut it off. And I just put some tape on the back of it so that it will stick to the pillow while I tie it and everything. So now I'm just going to go ahead and line those up and pull it through to create the like flip side of the bow. And you just cross it over and just flip that. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and measure it out and just cut off a little more of the ribbon because I don't need this much. And you can just keep cutting as you go to see how much you need. So after you've done that, then you can just tie it in a bow, whatever bow you like. I'm doing the bow with the bunny ears because I feel like that's the cutest. And then once you've done that, you can either leave it like this or you can cut off the ends 
and then I also staple it down as well just so that it stays in place since I do throw my pillows around. <laughs> All you're going to need are some vases. I got these from Michael's, they're just the cylinder shapes. And then I also picked up a little pack of pine cones and other festive Christmas holiday type thing. And I also got some ornaments from Michael's and all you're gonna do are pour the ornaments into one of the cylinders and then you can go ahead and put the pine cones into the other ones. And I just think this is a really cute and easy festive look for your room that you can add. The next DIY is what I like to call an accent picture frame and all I did was add some golden fake leaves to a shadow box and the leaves I got from Walmart, they were 99 cents or 98, it was something weird but they were so cheap and then I went ahead and I cut those in a half and then I cut them again to make them even smaller. You can cut them to whatever size you want but I cut them in half again just so it looked like I had more fallen leaves in the frame and they have lots of different colors at Walmart. I think they had red ones and also silver so you can go ahead and check your local Walmart or dollar store for some fake leaves or you can use anything. You could even put little jingle balls or ornaments in this frame because it is pretty deep and this shadow frame was $10 and I got it from Michaels and all I'm doing is taking the pins and this piece of paper that they had in there out of the frame and then I'm going to go ahead and use some wrapping paper that I just got from the basement that we had lying around. It doesn't even have to be Christmas if you don't want it to be, it can be whatever you want to be honest. <laughs> but I just used this and then I'm using the little pins that they gave me to just pin that down. If you don't have pins though, I'm sure it'll stay or you can use a little thumbtack or something. It's just so that you can cut it easily and it won't move around while you're doing so. So now you're just going to keep cutting that out and you can even trim the edges a little more if you want it to be perfect. And then you can add your leaves to the frame and then go ahead and put the back right on. Make sure it's facing the right side because when I did it the first time it was backwards. <laughs> This last craft is a mason jar full of holly. I actually have a holly tree in my front yard, which is why I thought of this idea. I got this mason jar from Michaels and it was like $1.49. And then if you don't have an actual holly tree, you could always walk around your neighborhood and see if you could find one. Or you can buy fake holly in any store really. Target has some, Walmart, any dollar store. You can always find some fake leaves and holly berries. So all that you're going to do is cut the holly off of the tree and then once you've done that you can take all the berries off of the holly <laughs> and then once you've done that you can go ahead and cut the actual leaves off of the branches and these are kind of prickly if you have actual holly so be careful when you're doing that. And then just go ahead and pour the berries into the jar and just shake it up and that's literally it. And if you want you can always add some ribbon. I just used some leftover ribbon from the pillow that we did and I just folded it in half and then tied a little knot and that is all I did. This is perfect for a gift or just for decoration in your room. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you would like to see some more DIYs in the future, definitely let me know and I will see you all next time. Thank you.